wonder what it's like out there. Yeah, full of beans, woke up this morning. Have I got anything for breakfast? Um, I'm hungry and thirsty. Hungry. What have I got for breakfast? Salted meat. I should put that in the thing out. Salted meat. Uh, oh, I got potato bread. I'll have potato bread for breakfast. And um, I've uh, taken a mountain flour tea. And I'm still thirsty. Welcome back to another episode of Skyrim. Future High King of Skyrim. Oh, I, hang on, sorry. Welcome to another episode of Future High King of Skyrim. That's one. The Sven Vicious. Better go up then. Um, Better go up and get that other meat. I'll cut this one up. Right, let's see now what 
time is it? It's getting on the day, that bit to the west. Can't see too clear. Well, I'll drop this off, um, all this meat. I must have um, 80, 160 weight, uh, 160 portions of um, meat on me. And I'll go and pick up my um, stash from the, I'll move out from uh, Thingo. I didn't show you the, um, the little garden plot that came with it. But since the guy that uh, owns is a Stormcloak and uh, Hod's a Stormcloak supporter, he let me have it for as long as I need. I won't and I'll do the right thing since I've found this treehouse and it's a lot better but I don't really feel like working too much um, cutting wood that's pretty full on stuff come here butterfly that's the one I want I get in? yeah you might save my life one, night, one time butterfly well, we're in Riverwood now, and uh, trying to afford a walk, and um, and uh, I might go and see Luke and, and see what's about this break-in that happened. Still need some gloves, I used to thought I would have found them in the bin. No. That one, I haven't checked that one up. Oh, I haven't checked these ones in, on the whole thing. Camilla. The Hello. river with my sister Camilla or I will be happy to help you. Uh, okay, um, what do you got for sale? Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Alright. What potions you got? Minor healing, yeah, I need some of that. I've got no stamina either. Um, I got a, what type of books you got? Medical books. None. I need a fur crafting kit. Okay, all this um, fresh wolf meat, 166. How much you gonna give me for it? 644. Okay. Um, I sell you this uh, one of these gold necklaces and this silver ring. I don't really need this one either. Um, great. Thanks a lot. See you later. Damn oh. thieves! As oh, if what? things weren't bad enough. Oh, I read that poster. What what happened, Lucan? Maybe you're looking what? for something um, particular. Did, did something happen, Lucan? Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break-in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. Oh, what? An ornament 
Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Oh. Solid gold, you reckon? Looks pretty valuable. You mentioned it, yeah, okay. I suppose I I'll help you get I could help you get the claw back, Lucan. You could? Yeah. I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Okay. If you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northeast of town. Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh really? Well I think your new helper here needs a guide. Uh, no, I by the eight. Fine. But only to the edge of town. Alright. Alright, see you, see you Lincoln. town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here though, the mountain just over the buildings. Yeah, it's a bit foggy, I can. Yep. Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. Trolls? Trolls? I don't think I like the idea of trolls. Oh, no wonder those two are, um, going for it. It looks a bit of all right. I wonder why they only stole Lucan's golden claw. I don't I mean, know. We have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one. Yeah? I don't know who I should... That bard... I seem too stupid and I think I think I'd probably prefer that Vendel character. This is the bridge out of town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw uh, a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child. Hang up. Oh yeah, guys. Uh hey Kimala. Mara bless you for agreeing to help us. Oh that's okay. Um how much farther do I have to walk? Well, it's a winding road up the mountain just ahead. You'll know you're in the right place once you spot the old watchtower. Once you get to the tower, head north. Bleak Falls Barrow should be just around the corner further up. Um... I, on more of a personal nature, although I'm only new in town, I've only been here a couple of days, um... Sven gave me this letter to trick you, uh, it came from Fandel. What are you talking about? What's in the letter? Oh my. He wanted me to think Fandal wrote this? Thank you for telling me the truth. Could you talk to Fandal as well? I'm sure he'll want to thank you for standing up for him. All right. Good luck. Alukan and I will be waiting for you back in the shop. I'm not going today. I'll be going a couple of days because I've got to get some armor and stuff together. I've got to make myself some. Uh... You're a strapping young man. Oh yeah. Don't be a stranger. I see you're a strapping young lady. I'm not so young. Oh. You're not from around here. That makes two of us. <laughs> All right. Uh, excuse me, trader. Hi. What do you got for sale? Take a look. And 
Until next time. All right, thanks a lot. See you later. Yes? What do you want? Catch up to Camilla. Poor. Mara bless you for agreeing to help us. That's okay. I couldn't handle seeing you go up there. You'd probably be killed. Nice young lady. I came like here you. from the Imperial Province to work with my brother, Lucan. Oh, you came up here yes. to jo you join? Well, who are you trying to... Oh, I thought you... Um, we're Need coming from town. Alright, I'm going to go and uh, get some tea and... I uh, know, oh I've got to go to the blacksmith. Alright, I'll see you later, Camilla. Nice meeting you. Oh, yeah, there's a woman that... Oh, look, this yes? Bears, mate. I'll uh, try and get her all that done in a couple of days. This is idiot walking, you know. Huh. As if she should marry him, he'd waste all his time walking back with him. Walks from, uh, uh, excuse me, um, blacksmith? Whatever you need. Buy you smear if it's simple and strong. No. I can forge it. What do you got for sale? Take a look. Yes. That was four. Six. Eight. Good day. Well, that took, um, well, to do all those hides, I hung them out tonight, here, in theory, uh, they're all top of hung out everywhere, and, uh, they should be right for me, uh, to work on tomorrow, oh, tomorrow I'll build, my, I'll make my own armour, um, the guy introduced himself as Elf, or he, uh, Showed me some um, patterns I can use to uh, make my armor, and, I'll sp and before I go up to Barrow, I'll uh, make it and I'll improve it, and it'll be custom fit. Ah, beware, Embersard Mine, Bleak for Barrows. What's happening there? I'll have to read that. Um, 
sister, please wait, look and Valerius. Stay away from this thing again. Ah, that'll be interesting. Is there any gloves in here? I think we might mm -hmm. have run out of, uh, hang on, what have I, um, yes? I'll read these notes and find out what's happening. I'll take up a good posse. I've got to get something to eat. I'm very hungry and very thirsty. Um, I'll, uh, read these out and, uh, Bleak Falls Barrows. Last night I had a dream, a horrible nightmare of fire and doom pouring out of Bleak Falls Barrows. Barrow. I sure, I swear, there is something sinister and dreadful about those accursed ruins. I can feel darkness seeping out of there, enveloping our small town in its ghastly vapors. Good do and hot. You ought to keep your Frodnar from playing at the foothills. Frodnar must be their kid. From playing at the foot pill, foothills of the path leading up there, Elvor and Sigrid, the same goes for Dorothy. Uh, the girl ought to be learning the knitting and darning crafts from me, instead of spending her time playing boys' games in the woods. And then I want to keep your children from Bleak Falls Barrow, the place of curse I feel deep in my veins. Didn't Lucan's also say that those thieves that broke into his house fled up there? That so uh, they're mo more likely got the punishment they deserve. While Ma Kine have mercy on her departed soul, which said that foul thing still that place and that foul thing still watch over it in eternal damnation, Hildy. Please wait, Luke and Valerius. Dear Luke and Valerius, I'd like you I'd like I would like to have you with me forever. I'm falling in love with you, but every time I speak with you, I feel like there's tons of cotton in my mouth. I cannot speak a word. Maybe one day I'll have the courage to say hello. But, un but until then, please wait for me. I'll find that courage, I promise. Oh, he's got a just admirer, old Lucan. Ah. Stay away from this. Ithmgard. I tried to explore it, but I barely went beyond the main entrance. I heard strange ticking sounds, even though the ruins are ancient, I knew better than to lose my soul to that horrible place. I'm not going anywhere near it again, and neither should anyone else. Frodnar. What's that kid? Oh, I don't like about that warning about the barrows. I'm supposed to be going up there in a couple of days. Probably three days' time. If I, or my, uh, Things happen to plan. I've got to make all my armour. All right. Well, I'll call this an episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll catch you all next time. See you later.